Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm going to share a project that will help build texture and use some layered stamps. There is a product list in the video description below and don't miss the free PDF tutorial over at my blog at JennyHallDesign.com. You can download it for free. I'm stamping today with Altenew's Half Tone Everything Stamps and Dies. When I think of a layered stamp set, I don't always think about word stamps. However, this is definitely a layering stamp set. So the way I'm going to approach it is to first stamp the outline image of the word everything. And I'm using Altenew inks here today. This is Industrial Diamond. Once I have that in place, then it's easy for me to be able to take the filling portion and line it up, close the door of the Mini Misty, and then there you go. It lines up so easily. It's perfect. So I'm using two layers of ink here just to make sure that this sentiment will stand out really well. I'm going to secure the die in place with some purple tape. And when I'm removing it, I don't want to lose that little dot of the eye. So I've used a little bit of the purple tape to keep it in place. Here is a look of the Altenew inks that I'm using today. There's five different collections and they all work together so well. The stamp set that I'm going to use to make the leaves is called Antique Roses. And I'm going to make the leaves yellow, red, orange, and brown. So I'm stamping the most solid layer with yellow because that's going to give me, it's probably gonna be the color we see the least, but it's going to be the highlight areas. And then I'm taking that second of the layering stamps, the, the second in the series, and I'm using a reddish orange color and it's going to give a little more contour and detail. Now I'm using two different panels here and that's because I wanted to do, I decided as a second thought to make more leaves than what I thought I would make. So I've switched up the colors just a little bit so that the leaves would be just a little bit different. And the good thing about using the Mini Misty is that because everything's already in one spot in the stamp positioner, I can stamp as many pages of this as I like. Works wonders. So now I'm going to use one of the ink colors from Altenew. This is Milk Chocolate Ink. And I want to give a maybe like a burnished look to the leaves or kind of like, um, you know, late fall where there's a lot of color, but then there's a lot of brown that's coming on as well. It gives just a little bit more grounding to the image in my eye. Now I'm going to use some of those empty areas and make five die cuts of the word everything. In that set of halftone everything, there was a way to take the the scripty part or the outline that you can die cut. And I had the idea to create some texture on my card base and I've just scribbled out some glue here on a scratch paper and there's lots of different ways to adhere a, a word die cut to a paper and for me I had this glue right on my desk already. I was working with my kids with something and it just worked for me to be able to dab that die cut down in a little pool of glue nothing fancy at all and it works perfectly and it doesn't it doesn't get as dirty and my fingers don't get as, as dirty now i've got a piece of foam foam here and i'm going to just since the glue is out i'm going to keep using it and adhere that panel in place and what's it, once it is set then i'm going to arrange some of those leaves to where I can just pick them up together with my tweezers, add some of that same Elmer's glue, and just put them down in place. Very, very simple. And this was an easy card to create. It has a fall look, but I guess it could be any time of the year, and you could change out the foliage or whatever you're using. And then there's that little dot of the eye. Don't want to lose it. So I'm going to go back and add something that goes with the die cut sentiment so that it makes a little more sense. 
and I need to make a giant stack of cards because we recently moved from New Jersey to Missouri and there's a lot of people that helped us along our journey. So I'm sending out lots and loads of cards and this is going to be one. In fact, I made two of these cards and I have a good idea who I'm going to send them to with my husband's new office. And I couldn't help resist using Wink of Stella to put a little bit of sparkle because I didn't want to add any sequins. I thought just, just enough sparkle would look nice from the Wink of Stella. And there you have it. It's a fun project. It has loads of possibilities to change out. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!